What's going on, Virgo? And thank you guys so much for tuning in. So guys, this is going to be your February mid-month reading. And I know, guys, I never do readings like this, but I fell earlier this week and my face got a little swollen, so I definitely don't want to be on camera. But I still want the show to go on, so let's jump into things. Now, this will be from February 15th to about March 15th. And keep in mind, guys, this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Virgo signs. Okay? Now, we're just going to freestyle this, guys. We'll see what comes out. All right. What is going on in the world of Virgo? Just one more shuffle here. Let's get six cards here. Wheel of Fortune. Nice. Nine of Wands in the reverse. Letting go of something that was burdening. Having good fortune come in. Your life changing in a very positive way. Okay. Eight of Pentacles reversed. So there's no longer effort being put into something that was very burdening for you guys. You have a new beginning here coming in. For a lot of you, this could be a new financial start or something that's just really going to be in your life for a long time. And this deck I'm using, guys, is the Wild Unknown Tarot. Okay, you guys had a few cards come out here, so let's look at all of this. Hierophant. This is beautiful, guys. Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Four of Cups in the reverse. You guys really removed yourself from something that was toxic here. Um, there was something that was tumultuous, burdening for you, conflicting for you. And now you're accepting the fact that I have to let this go. And it's like, you guys are just letting the universe do what it has to do right now. And because you have, you know, that go with the flow attitude and, you know, you're being adamant about the direction you have to take. There's a lot that I feel you guys are recovering from. There's a lot of opportunity that comes in and you guys are really on a solid path here. Yeah, you guys are completely just done with something or you felt like you were depleted by something. It could have been financial as well. But you're so focused right now. Okay. All right, guys. So this deck here is Mystic Monday Tarot. Let's clarify this. Ace of Swords in the reverse. We have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. All right. So we have Queen of Pentacles reversed. A lot of reversals here. Let's see what this is about. You guys were completely done with something. It's something that you were pissed off about or someone else was pissed off about. And you stopped waiting on it. You're not worrying about it anymore. And because of that, you're going on the path to something new. Because... You know, there was something here that you were meant to remove yourself from. Okay, something that maybe there's empty promises here. Someone was promised, yeah, somebody was promising something that uh, maybe they were exaggerating or maybe they just weren't intending to give it at all. But you guys recover. There's complete recovery here. Any sort of loss you feel, you recover from that. Okay. So you get over a path that was not meant for you, okay? And there's celebrations that come in, but it's like you're going back and forth with something. So maybe you or someone around you is upset because of something that's no longer happening, okay? I'm going to take these cards back, guys, because I know a lot of you go nuts when there's a lot of reverses here. Let's shuffle this deck a bit. Okay, and we'll do this again because I'm certain we'll get a similar message. All right. Okay. 
King of Cups reversed. Justice card. There is something karmic that was throwing you off, guys, or it was throwing someone off around you. Okay. We have the devil reverse showing that you got out of something that was toxic. It just wasn't working. And for some people, it might be hard to let go of something, but you have something new on the horizons. There's a lot of expansion that comes here with the three of wands. Okay. Nine of cups. A lot to be happy about. So maybe it's not even you guys who are upset. Maybe someone's upset with you because there's definitely that duality. Okay. Someone's being very reserved towards something. Something that wasn't going to be successful. Now, here's what it is, guys. There's something you're still involved in in some way, shape, or form where um, maybe they could feel like this is a bad idea for you. Okay? Uh, maybe you have someone around you that's really telling you you're doing the wrong thing. But maybe some sort of relationship wasn't working out, but it still has some sort of influence on you. Okay? There's something here that you guys should be building, and you have a lot to be building. Okay, but maybe someone's trying to hold you back. All right, let's do another spread. Ron's reversed. We have the Six of Cups and the King of Cups reversed. Temperance card, Queen of Swords. For a lot of you guys, um, yes, you could have been on the wrong path with something, but you had to go through that. You still needed that, okay? Um, there could have been something that just wasn't meant to be in your life long term, but this was meant to teach your soul something. It could have been a soul lesson. I'm picking that up strongly for a lot of people. Um, and for some of you, it could have put you in a place where now you're more alert. Now you don't just let yourself, you know, fall into something new. You're, you're kind of, you know... You watch your back. You're analytical about everything now. I mean, you're verbal. You're going to be analytical as it is, but you're really like something has maybe put a wall up for you where you're just not going to be as giving as you may have been in the past. Let's get one more card here. Yeah, there's something that was throwing you off emotionally. Maybe someone was manipulating you. Maybe you were doing that to them. It caused a lot of anxiety. And it's like you're telling yourself, no, I can't do this. But this is something you guys needed to go through. Okay. So let's see why these cards are here. So we have the King of Wands, Eight of Swords in Reverse, Nine of Wands, Six of Wands in Reverse, Two of Cups. So yeah, guys, something wasn't successful, but again, you so needed this to grow. Um, this could have had to do with the Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius for some of you, but you saw something exactly for what it was, and I see you guys being very, very determined to stand your ground on the stance that you're taking, and that's cutting something out. Maybe you're being cool towards someone, or they're doing that towards you. This um, could be a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini you guys are dealing with, but you guys know that there's just a way of being that's just not working for you in life, and you're ready to let that go, Okay. Four of Cups in the reverse. You're accepting release. You're not fighting for something that's not meant to be there anymore. Now, whatever this is, guys, it's going to attempt to come back into your life. It's only going to throw you off. It's not a good idea. Someone could, you know, maybe be... There's someone who could be not genuinely invested, yet they're trying to come back anyways. 
And for a lot of you, um, this could even be a warning for the cross watcher because this is your energy, Virgo. So maybe you try to go back to something and you're not really invested and someone has to protect themselves from you. Not saying that there's anything malicious, but it's like we all deserve um, people who are truly immersed in us, whether it's with business, with love. So, you know, you don't want to hold people back from finding that. All right, guys. So I'm going to pull you three cards of guidance and advice. Now, this deck is Tarot Grand Lux by Ciro Marchetti. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite person when it comes to tarot cards. His artwork is so nice. You'll see in a moment. All right. These cards are just huge, though. My hands are so tiny. So, Six of Swords. It might be a difficult journey to move on from something, but you're ready. You're mentally prepared to do it. You have the Ace of Wands. All right, something big comes in for you. There's a lot of passion here. This is something you can really put your all into. Something that will give you a reason, you know, to wake up in the morning. And you have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. And you got to understand that this is happening because something didn't go as planned. So initially it may seem like something that's bad, but it's not. You guys are still holding on to whatever this was. You have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. So it's like even though you're still emotionally invested or just invested in some way, shape, or form and just mentally stuck on this. You let go of burden. So yeah, you might feel a little bit debilitated right now. Um, but something just didn't make sense for you guys at this point. I'll pull three more cards here. We have the five of cups in the reverse. So any sort of pain or loss that you feel completely subsides. Because I see someone could really be grieving something, but that completely goes away. And there's something that's really awesome that's going to come in at the time that some of you could feel sad about something. So you'll have that duality where you can at least put your focus into something amazing because blessings are pouring in. You guys have the sun card. All right. So something not going to plan is actually a huge blessing for you. It wasn't a bad thing. Okay. So, yeah, at this point, you just know it was unconventional. Whatever this was, guys, it was going to throw you off your path. Okay. Very clear reading, guys. All right, Virgo. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, especially if you are at the premiere. I'm always going to be here in the chats. So definitely subscribe, get your notifications on so you can always join us. Um, guys, if you need a reading, everything is in the description below on how to get in a, uh, how to get a hold of me rather. And then if you guys are on Instagram, my Instagram is High Vibrations 44 and you can find me on Twitter, Bruja Shit. All right, Virgo. Love you guys.